Hello everybody and in this Moto tutorial we're going to show you how to make a quick golf ball. Okay, I learned this from a guy named Ellery um, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is click on our sphere. Now the first thing you're going to notice is under your sphere you're going to have your sides, your segments, and there's going to be a sphere mode. I want you to change the sphere mode to tessellation and put the subdivision level to 6. And when you hit apply, you'll see we get this tessellated sphere. Pretty cool, huh? Not bad. Okay. Now let's go to our vert mode. So we'll select our vertices and let's, you know, um, marquee select around the whole object that will select every edge. Now I used my middle mouse button to marquee select so it would select through as well. Okay, so now that we have all these vertices selected here, as you can see, let's go ahead and click on our polygon mode. Now with Modo, you can change what type of selection you want to do without messing up your selection. If you'll notice here, I have all my verts selected. If I go to polygon mode, those verts disappear and I can select polygons. But when I go back to my vert mode, those verts are still selected. And I love this about Modo. Like I can go to polygon mode and select those, go back to verts, and it holds that selection. Go back to polygon, that selection is still there. It's wonderful. Okay? So, now that we have those, all those verts selected, let's go to polygon mode and hit the D key to subdivide this one more time. And when we do that, you'll see that gives us a pretty unique honeycomb pattern. Okay? So let's switch back to our vert mode, and you'll see, you'll see that those verts are still selected. Now let's go ahead and hit the B key to bevel these vertices and we'll click once and I'm going to bevel out and you'll see that we're beveling those verts and I want you to notice you need to get pretty close you know you don't want a big gap or you know it's too big of a gap but you don't want too small a one either okay that's looking pretty decent there I think okay now you can hit your space bar to drop the tool now when you do that we still have those verts that we beveled selected and this is a good thing because if you notice up here in your selection sets if you hold the option key it switches to convert okay so that means it's going to convert my vertices selections into whatever button I push while holding the option key so if I want to convert all these verts that I've got selected into corresponding polygons I'll hold the option key and hit the convert to polygon button which is right under where Polygon used to be. You'll notice when I do that, whammo, it now selects all those polygons that, are score, that were corresponding to those verts that we had selected. Now, we just have a little bit left to go, which is to hit the B key for bevel. Click once, and let's bevel in a little bit. About like that. Spacebar, drop our tool, click the deselect. Now we have all these nice little intrusions or extrusions that are extruded back in okay if you hit the tab key to go into sub D mode turn off our wireframe you'll see we have us a nice golf ball okay now you can go into much 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 greater detail if you want to but this was just a quick basic video for you know People who people who ain't too familiar with with Moto because that's the kind of people that come and watch my videos. People that ain't too familiar with Moto because I'm no professional, and I can relate with somebody that don't know Moto too well because I myself don't know it. So as I learn, I share, and I hope you guys have learned something. Happy modeling.